Hello and welcome. My name is Rich White. I am with the Greenbush Education Service Center in Kansas, the Greenbush Mobile STEM Lab, and the Immersive Education Initiative. And this is the fourth video in this series where we explore Visor. And Visor, if you haven't seen the first three, is a virtual reality developer's toolkit. And it's pretty cool. And so I want to kind of explore a few of, of, of some features that I think you'll enjoy. Um, the first being that with this new Tinkercad beta version, they've really improved the export functionality of Tinkercad. And I want to show you how we can, we can use the new Tinkercad beta. And it's just tinkercad.com backslash beta. Um, and you'll know you're using the beta when you start exploring um, and building in Tinkercad because you'll see this beta, this beta tag right up here next to the icon. So, um, so we'll get into that here a little bit. I want to show you um, also how we can add images real quick and then sounds. So you can actually add a sound to your virtual reality space as well. Uh, we've been using this with kids for a while. Um, they've really enjoyed it. And so we'll kind of, we'll kind of get in, get into this here. And I'm going to add a cactus to a scene and you can see here, I've got my cactus. If you have never used Tinkercad, um, there are a lot of tutorial videos out there. And so I won't really get into the specifics of Tinkercad other than to say it is a modeling tool that uses simple primitive shapes to build some complex, um, model. So it's, it's a cool little starter modeling tool for, for kids and for adults, actually. Um, so what I did, though, is I went out here uh, to Thingiverse, and if you're not familiar with Thingiverse, it is a universe of things that people have created, and they've, they've shared them, uh, you know, both for 3D printing or really anything. But I've taken this cactus, and I've downloaded it, and I imported it in here to... Um, thing to uh, Tinkercad, and I added some text. Now, when I go to import this into Visor, it's going to do a couple things. One, it's going to, if I import it in this position, kind of laying flat into Visor, it's going to, it's going to import in the right position. So you really want to take your model and when you're done with it, kind of lay it down like this. Another thing is it's going to import into Visor really huge, so we'll have to we'll have to resize it and and so forth. But that that's that's okay. It's not not a huge pain. So here we go. This is Visor, as I've mentioned. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with 3D photos as well. I'll do a video of that here in a few days. I've been really focused recently on the uh, modeling capabilities and how you can create some really cool VR scenes by importing models. Let's go here. I've got a, you'll need an account to actually create um, something, to import something and to save it. So I'm going to go here and create a new public project. Those are all my scenes so far. And as before, you'll see our developer tools. I'm going to go ahead and close some of this stuff here. got a desert scene so that's why I'm going to bring in this cactus and to bring in the cactus all I've got to do is just click drag now this is the OBJ format and while this is importing I'm going to go here and show you what I did I went and I exported and I made sure I got this OBJ okay so that's what I'm importing here um, now like I mentioned when it imports it imports really large and there it is. You see it way over here. So I'm going to bring it up. Scrolling out, bringing it up. And then you can see how enormous it brings it in. We'll be okay here. I'll click scale. I was, I was moving. Now I'm going to scale this thing. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just grabbing this, this center box and scaling the whole thing. Um, let's move it back down here, down, down to earth now that we've 
got this thing kind of sized. All right, there we go. Let's move it over in here. Let's scale it a little bit. So you'll spend a little bit of time scaling and moving here while you while you get this thing looking right. That's probably about the size I want it, though. Let me zoom into it and see. Uh, let's back out here. Let's get my... Yeah, I'll back it out and scale it a little bit more. Maybe even turn it. There we go. Um, get it down here. move again get my helmet see what that looks like yeah it looks good I like that okay so we've got our model import you notice that it brought the colors in now when you export this um, this OBJ format you'll notice and I've got it right here I export it it'll it'll export as a zip file and you'll just import that zip file what it'll do in that zip file is It'll have your texture and it'll have your model. And so Visor knows what to do with that when it sees the texture in the model in that zip file. And so you end up with a nice looking model and its texture. So we've got that. That's kind of what I want. And I mentioned we were going to bring in a picture. So Visor is kind of a, a really powerful meta media container, really. It's a container of other media types. And so let's scale this out here. Let's make it larger. There we go. Um, okay. There's a, that's just a regular PNG image. Let's get my helmet and see what we see. Here we go. I like that. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a, um, a sound, and this needs to be an MP3. I got this sound, though, from um, freesounds.org. And I'm going to bring this desert sound in, and it's just the sound of a desert uh, animal. Sounds like a cicada, maybe. And now you guys probably can't hear that sound, but I can. It's part of our, our scene now. Okay, so now I've got my model, my image, my sound. Now if I want to publish this thing, I'll just... Click Publish. Let's call this, um, let's just call this Cactus 2, because I think I already have a Cactus 1. It's going to publish. There we go. We've got our scene, and the sound starts automatically. Um, now, if I had a pair of goggles, or, or, or rather a, uh, a, um, Either Nokia Rift, Vive, or had this on my phone, and I could put this in my um, Google Cardboard goggles. I could click this button, this little set of goggles here, and it would be my stereoscopic left eye, right eye view. Okay, and it would just navigate to that URL to, to view this. Okay, so that is Tinkercad Beta. Um, it's new export functionality in the OBJ format and our image and our sound import and i will do a 360 image uh, video here next